All right, y'all, welcome back to another Black Mass adventure. So my boy John, what's up? From Exploration Unknown has drug me out to a location that I've never been before. So the location that we're at right now, area where the America's first serial killers, they had approximately 39 murders to their name. Some say that it goes up to 50. Yeah. Yep. So the two brothers that I'm talking about is Micah Harp and Wiley Harp. These two individuals were some scary ass people. Not only did they just kill people, they were known for flaying their body cavities open and desecrating the victim's insides. So this area is known to be extremely haunted. John's been here a couple times. He's caught all kinds of crazy voices. As we are setting up from the wood line, John and I were hearing some wild sounds. Yeah. So give this video a like. If you're not subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button. And I hope you enjoy this video because it's going to be fun. I've got the full spectrum running. That's going to be available on the... The full, full spectrum video is going to be available on my members section very soon. But we are also going to be using the thermal camera here, which I'm... Oh. Pretty excited about. So if you all hear some road noise in the background, I apologize. The trees have shed all of their leaves, if that's what you call it. Is that what you call it? Uh, sure. Yeah? That's what they've done, so. I'm trying to find a spot where we can get over. This muddy. Soak up to your knees, buddy. Mm-hmm. So the Hart brothers were some nasty, nasty individuals. So they were active shortly after the Revolutionary War. Was it after the Revolutionary War? John? The late 1700s. Yeah. Is when they were here. Yeah. So, with this tree, the reason why we're walking over here is one, it's going to be a crazy old tree. It's beautiful. Ooh. Somebody popping off a 22 somewhere? Yeah. But when we were walking up, um, I had put it on my thermal camera. I just got eye shine in the woods over there. Did you? Yeah. But as we were looking around, this tree was bl was glowing like crazy bright. Did you hear that? Mm -hmm. So I think we should bust out the EMF under this tree. Yeah. I'm not seeing any people hiding in the woods, okay? So I think we'll be okay.
You may have known them by Big Harp and Little Harp. Yeah, man. Nah. I'm about to. Nothing. <laughs> We are only here to communicate with you. Micah Harp, are you still here? Who was making noise in the woods? If you are here and none of this makes any sense, maybe you didn't die at the hands of them. Maybe you lived here once. If you lived here during a different time, Please touch one of these green lights. Tell us into the, that other device. Let us know. Let us know your story. Were you in the Revolutionary War? Were you a British, a British soldier? I think we might be striking out here, brother. Yeah, it's probably time to move on. Yeah. Oh, it just jumped. Huh. Well, yours? Mine did, yeah. I don't know if I caught it. <laughs> as soon as you give up. <laughs> Was that you? I want to give you an opportunity to, to communicate with us, but... All you have to do is touch that green light. All right, I'm going to be picking it up. If you don't want me to pick it up, you better touch it. You see that? Yeah. <laughs> okay. So are you trying to figure out how to use it? Let's try for something more simple. Are you a male? If you are, touch the green light. Are you a female? I don't know, man. Did it just move? Uh, I actually had just looked away. I feel like I did too. All right, we're gonna move over by the creek where Wiley and Micah were known to disembowel their victims. Did you hear yeah, that? I heard that? That was weird. All right, y'all, so <clears throat> we weren't getting a whole lot on the EMF detector. So what was really strange was as soon as I mentioned um, disemboweling the victims, we heard a man or a, a voice come from the woods right where we're at. Now, there's not anybody close by. Uh, you, you hear the road sounds, but the road is probably at least a mile away. Uh, so we're going to walk over here by the creek and see what else we can capture.
<clears throat> There's somebody yelling at us up there. Huh? There's somebody yelling at us. Oh. oh. Let me switch the thermal. From where? I don't know. I thought it was coming from that. I wonder how many people they walk through here and realize oh, no. what had happened, you know. But these dudes were just as mean as it gets. They moved here from North Carolina back in the late 1700s. And this rain havoc here. I mean, they they stole people's livestock. They terrorized the local people. And once the murders happened, they kind of fled. Uh, it's just... I don't know what drives people to be that way. Um, the driving force was Big Heart, Naka. Um, of course, Wiley kind of followed suit. I want to walk over here. Yeah, there's all kinds of little spots. Yeah. Yeah. There's a little trailer in here. No, good, good spines, folks. Yes, That's sir. This is actually believed this bend yeah. to be one of the spots this is believed to be possibly where they dumped the body yeah their homestead was down the creek away that tree but somewhere in kentucky i can't remember exactly where i'll put a link to the whole story in the description and then little heart was found and killed about five years after that. 1897 is when Big Heart was killed. In 1804 is when Little Heart was found. Yeah, this place right, this spot here, man, there's something. Yeah, I'm going to set that down. And get this digital recorder going. You want to hang out here for a second? Oh, did you see that? Yeah. There it goes. Okay, I see you touched that already. We put these items on the ground to help you communicate with us. Again, my name's John. This is Brian. Nothing we have will hurt you. We simply just want to communicate with you. Can you touch that green light for me one more time? It will not hurt you. It'll let us know that you are here. Dude, that was a man's voice. That Dude. wasn't you? No. Here, let me switch the thermal just to make sure. Yeah. Dude, that tree is just lit up like a Christmas tree back there. That's so weird. The one we were at? Yeah. Crazy. Yeah, Brian's got an awesome thermal camera. I'd like to get me one eventually. That was lit up. Yeah. And I turned around and it went as soon dead. As I went to it, it went dead. Can you please do it again for me? Dude, this looks so cool. Yeah, that's a good idea. I think, actually, I was going to bring my SLS. Try to step away from John while he's doing his thing. So, the Hart brothers were just absolutely horrible people. They were actually known to rob people when the state of Tennessee was actually developing the main sort of transport before our roadways was by the river. These people would actually rob people on their boats as they were transporting their goods and services. They were known 
pirates in the state of Tennessee, which to me is pretty crazy. Something else that they would do is that when they would capture their victims, they would rob them, they would torture them, they would then take their remaining corpse, throw them in the creek behind me, fillet open, and urinate inside of the chest cavity. Now, I don't know what kind of monster does that to another human being, but these two individuals were just as mean and as nasty as it gets. So we're gonna try to do some investigating along this river bank and see what we can find. Alright y'all. So along this river bank or this creek bank, sorry, is where um Tens, I don't really know how to say it correctly, tens of corpses were found. This creek is called Beaver Creek. It's actually in the Halls area. Now this location is really, really strange. You know, I don't claim to be a psychic or to have any sort of, not powers, but um, special abilities, but this location is crazy. I don't know why. Dude, I just got so dizzy. I'm getting really weird, like, rushes of, um, I don't want to say, like, cold air, but I feel like I'm on a roller coaster. Like, being next to that water is just, like, I don't even know how to explain it. don't feel like I'm alone here. Sorry, I'm hearing footsteps. I'm standing still. I don't know what would possess a person to <clears throat> not only rob somebody the way that they did, but to just absolutely destroy their bodies for no reason. Now, you would think in a situation like that, <clears throat> there would be like a cannibalistic aspect of it. But, there wasn't. Hold on, I gotta get a cool shot of that moon. Dude, what the fuck? <clears throat> hey, where you at? Dude, something just freaking rushed me. Okay. What the fuck was that? Okay, hold on. I need to switch to thermal.
Okay. Did you hear that? No, I was talking to the chat. I got like I was trying to record the moon through the trees, uh -huh. and like something like ran up on me. Like I heard it. Like really? Yeah. Like it sounded like somebody was like running through the woods. Uh, it does <clears throat> be kind of. Um, well, I'll go ahead. That was crazy. Yes, I hope everybody had a great Christmas or whatever you celebrate. I hope everybody has a happy New Year. Dude, that was so fucking weird. So, I'm sorry, I'm cussing again. My bad. <laughs> oh, <you're good. laughs> All right. So <clears throat> now that I've gathered myself. Hello? All right, y'all, so as I'm <laughs> sitting here um, trying to fix my battery draw issues, uh, John's on a live stream. I'm nowhere near my digital recorder, which is right there. And we both looked down and the digital recorder is actually flipped upside down. Neither one of us did this. Um, I'm 100% sure. <laughs> yeah, I know I did. I, yeah, I mean, I, I, I'm gonna have to go back and look at my footage, but I wouldn't have set it face down. Like that's just not something I would do. I mean, the screen on it. Or yeah, I would do. I mean, we was looking at the screen on it. Yeah. So I think. Whoa! I just got a good orb. So I think. Whoa! I just got a good orb. Dude, these. Dude, these. you uh want to show them the thermal is that what you're asking me oh, or yeah super hot safer in this place is so much safer well, check that out guys because that thing's nice yeah it how is. far did you say that we'll see 2400 like, feet like if it's open field or like area yeah. it will see that and we were looking in this field earlier and you could actually see like the grass details everything yeah. like it's insane yeah it's, that's a good one it's really a kind of a game changer for us I think I feel like I mean my other one was cool but it didn't show nearly as far see you all if you look you can see the wood line here yeah and that is you want to walk over there and show them how far okay, we yeah there? so that what well, he's talking about that wood line Way over here. <laughs> Way over there. So somebody asked about the pink marble trail video. Yeah. Um, I put part one out. I don't think I put part two out. That's a crazy ass place, man. Um, I will be releasing that next week. Okay? After New Year. I got actually a lot of videos to release. <laughs> so a pretty good year. Yeah, we got some releasing. awesome stuff planned. We, we, things have, you know, I went over this and, uh, you know, with things going on in my life and, um, it's time to really get back out there. Mm-hmm. We're going to do a lot of exploring mm -hmm. stuff, too. <laughs> Good one, Dustin. I see what you did there. Like it sounded like straight footsteps when I was over there. <clears throat> I'm gonna walk over there with my tri field. All right, I just want to record. If you could flip that digital recorder over again, I would be grateful.
It sounds like multiple people are walking. Dude, it does. It, I don't know if y'all can hear them. It really sounds like there's like 10 people walking yep. like not far from us. Saw some Dude, eyes. listen to that. I know. Get your tri-field meter. I know. I mean, like, we're not around power lines or anything out here. No. Dude, there's got to be somebody over there. Oh, you just threw your thermal up and there's nothing. I know. You want to walk down there? Yeah, let's walk over. Who's caring for Texas? How's it going? Did you hear that? That was weird. Yeah, I heard that. I thought I, I hit something. Just like you did. <laughs> I thought I hit something, but. Well, I no, you didn't. And that didn't come from you exactly. It came from like five foot over from you. Yeah. It actually gets really heavy right over here. Dude, it does. Look at that tree. That's cool looking. I'm sorry, do you want to walk in front? That way they're no, not. Go ahead, man. You're good. Yeah. If you fall, it's good for your life. <laughs> if you don't fall, I don't want to You had to have heard that. Uh huh. Whoa. Trifields went crazy right when that happened. John, I've got, got? something. I don't know what it is. It's on. No, it's on my full spectrum. There's like a. I don't know if it's whoa, just whoa, whoa, whoa. Matrix. You dizzy? Yeah. You can't, yeah, dude. I about hit the ground, huh? Whoa. Oh, damn it. I looked away. Um, never mind. It's not on here anymore. Really like it. Well, you recording, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, Y'all have to check his video out for that. I don't know. I mean, I'm looking at a tiny screen, but it was weird. It was like this black mass box looking thing. I don't know. Was it, was it a Holy a fuck. Black mass? Paranormal? Yeah. Dude. Yeah, dude, that was crazy. Looks like some groundhogs and stuff have been... Something's been digging over here. <clears throat> I feel like I just put like 15 dips in my mouth. Yeah. That's a lot. That is a lot. I've seen how big these lips are. Mm hmm. And I'm dizzy. Dude, I don't feel right. I don't feel right either. I'm just, I'm just going to straight up say I don't feel right. Here, we need to step away from this area. At least I do. I don't know. <clears throat> like, I feel like I'm about to go on the creek. I know, right? I keep feeling like I'm going that way. I'm going to step over here and see. Changes. That's weird. I haven't felt that in a long time, man. Laramie asked, do I ever get spooked? Sometimes? Not often. I do. This one does. He gets spooked <laughs> like crazy. I usually stay level-headed. That's a good question. Spirit box. I, mine is dead. And I don't know if mine has one. Um, I don't. Brian's done some videos on dog Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm done a lot of them. A few things with that. I'm about to, Sorry. Oh, you're good, man. I'm about to release another one. He's about to release another one. Yeah, promo it. Huh? <clears throat> another battery draw. I got a beer. <laughs> Let it, let it grow. 
Let it grow. I've actually Let it only grow. been to Maryland once, and I didn't do any investigating there. It was a passing through. I would like to. Um, it's just hard to travel these days. It really is. It's hard to get away and travel like I used to. But, who knows? There might be some travel plans in the future. <sighs> scary stories I you know here's the thing with me I have a notebook I actually have three notebooks full um, of stories things I want to investigate alright John is there oh, I gotta pick this up because my battery is completely dead My EMF detector's done. Good job. Yep. Crazy. That is crazy. I've had this drawn. I had this light drawn. I had the digital recorder drawn. And now my EMF. Everything's getting drawn. I'm going to have to jump over to a live stream. I'm going to end mine soon and Brian's going to go live. Black Mass Paranormal. I know, right? I try to be different. Yeah, he is. He's, uh, he doesn't do the same old thing like a lot of them do. And, you know, good content. Brian's YouTube channel is Black Mass Paranormal. Black Mass Paranormal. Thank you, John. I can't right now, Auntie Lizzie, because I'm I'm on my phone live streaming, or I would. I would if I wasn't using it currently. Don't worry, you'll be able to not too many people see. Oh, the video that <clears throat> look in your shirt section. Short section. Okay, I'll check it out. Email me or DM me on Instagram, please. Um, if y'all giving me clues or any any setting me up. All right, y'all, I hope you enjoyed this investigation of the harp killing fields. Um, it was a really interesting night. For me to have some poltergeist activity happen out here is kind of crazy. I was not expecting that. Not to mention poltergeist activity is crazy rare. I wish I would have been able to get it on camera. Um, I don't think that I did. I may have because it was right in between the battery change. I don't know but regardless to see something like that or to, to see what happened after poltergeist activity is awesome just that tiny little bit uh, we got some really cool voices uh, for sure we got some awesome EMF hits so if you all have not subscribed to my boy John go there right now show him some love hit that subscribe button uh, if you're not subscribed to this channel, show me some love. Hit that subscribe button. Uh, give this video a like. Make sure you're turning on notifications. That way you know when I am going to be posting a new video. I've got a lot of interesting stuff coming up soon. Um, I'm working my butt off trying to include the new paranormal journals uh, in the channel. And at least keeping the channel consistent in between all of these investigations. So... Guys, thank you so much, and until next time.